Now, this is my new favorite feature, which I think is very cool. Under surveillance, there is now a an activity notification suite, whatever you want to call it. And this is very cool. So you have a list of your clients, connected computers here. And, and so you select any one of any number of these here, and then you can add these little things. I'll, I'll explain. So network disconnection, uh, if that's checked and enabled, uh, we will get a notification uh, every time when they disconnect. Now I'm not going to show that on here because I don't think I've got the. This is I can't be bothered to faff around. Um, so actually, but what you do is you click set notification, and there we go. Trigger network dis disconnection every time this person disconnects from our thing from our from Remcos. Next we've got. I'll do window because it's a bit, and then I'll talk about using. So window activity. So every time, so if I turn it on, every time Remcos detects Notepad or Google in the title window, then it will sound a um, notification. And this, I don't know why, but this always makes me jump every time I, um, every time I hear it, because it takes a second. Ugh, it's, it's even then. And you get a little notification, it put, forces Remcos to the top, which just brings it to the top, which is nice. Uh, and we'll just check with uh, Google as well. As you can see, it's kind of uh, killing me doing it in a, a virtual machine. So now if we go to um, Firefox and then go to google.com, when it connects, it will say Google, and then we should have a notification in a minute. There we are. So here we've got... Oh, I, I think that's because I closed it. But you can hear the thing and it goes, I'll say a little effect. Oh. There we are, that's confusing. Uh, so, let's turn that off for a minute. Now next, then this one is super cool. Uh, I really like this one. We've got um, an alarm and a remote alarm. So if you want, instead of a notification, so doing, oh, you've also got log, which just literally just logs it down here. So I turn that one on for the time being. Um, so user activity means every time a user does anything, anything at all, it will um, it will it will tell you. So if I just do some stuff down here like that, and we go back to Remcos. Oh, hold on. Let's turn on the idle thresh idle time threshold. See if that's worked. There we are. So it's just user activity. Uh, oh, okay. The idle time threshold means that um, it it will if they've been idle for some time, it won't re-log it. But basically, if the idle time is one minute, for example, then this it will only this will only log after a minute of idle time. So let's say I'm typing away. Um, so now we'll get uh, some activity notification. Let's so lock that back to it so it's a bit better. So you see, yeah, so here we go, activity detected. But it, it, the idle time's at zero right now. So if we start doing stuff on Notepad, we won't get anything. As you see, nothing new came up. So if you want it to trigger every five minutes, or every five minutes of idle time. Say if somebody, if you don't want to fill up this log down here with massive, with huge, um, if you don't want to fill it up, basically, you can set the uh, times like five minutes, for example. But do bear in mind, you are going to miss some things, because uh, a lot can happen in, I mean, um, basically, you don't want it to set, you don't want it in an hour, because you don't have to wait for an hour of idle time, because who's going to leave the computer for it? not important you know what i mean there's going to you're going to have to wait for an hour to pass of no activity at all before it starts logging again a new thing so you don't want to have it too long i mean if you want it to log everything then zero is um, probably the the best or one i'd say um, so next we've got alarm and a, and a remote alarm 
Now, let's say you're, I'm watching this computer and I don't want somebody to use it. Say, uh, say, it's a, say, uh, say you have some children and you say, right, no more computer time on your computer in your room. Sorry, in, in, like they have their laptops and you don't want them using them. And you're downstairs and they're supposed to be in bed or I don't, I don't know, some kind of hypothetical situation. So we turn on the alarm and we um, turn it on now and we have it on user activity. So what we have here is an alarm will go off on our computer every time they do something. So it should come up in a minute, scaring me. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to stop and disable the alarm, but you can uh, keep on going. So that alarm will continue until we turn it off. Um, however, you can also set the alarm on their computer, which I think is really cool. So if we... <laughs> I mean, it's a bit like a alarm system in like uh, um, a, a spy movie or whatever, or on a heist or something. So if we turn on it, turn it on now. It's going to go now. It's, it's going to okay. Okay. It didn't like that. Uh, oh, there we are. So yeah, you can hear by the choppiness and the breaking of the virtual machine that um, we can we have set a alarm. On, on it, the alarm came through here. So, a very cool feature, one that I think is very cool, and it also logs in the event log as well, which is very useful. Um, so yeah, that's all I want to talk about today in Remcos. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyway, thank you guys for for uh, watching the video, and have a very nice day, where whatever you're doing, wherever you are. <laughs>